Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator. And I'm Trenton Bennett, and I'm also an audiobook narrator. And we're invested in uh, teaching narrators who are just starting, people who are considering starting, and even longtime narrators who are looking for just a little bit of refreshment. And uh, this is something that I do when I'm teaching private students and also that I do on my channel. And I thought, what a great opportunity to uh, to do this with a colleague, which is Trenton. And speaking of colleagues, I, before my agenda was that we'd finish talking about warm-ups and uh, different uh, exercises for warm-ups. But Trenton just had the ultimate colleague experience last week, and I thought he'd have some valuable insight about those sorts of experiences and the value of them. So Trenton, go ahead. Yeah, there's an event that I first got to attend in 2019, and then COVID kind of put it off. But I love going to this. It's a private event where one of the people who's in the entertainment business just has a large party at their home and a whole bunch of people from throughout the industry get get together. It could be anybody from stage actors to sound engineers and musicians and a lot of other talent, including a lot of voiceover folks. And if you're in voiceover or getting started, you know, a lot of voiceover folks do a lot of things. So they might be someone who does commercials and audiobooks, or they might be someone who does video games and they do stage acting. But what I love about this is this wasn't structured. There weren't seminars or workshops. There wasn't coaching and it wasn't networking. People weren't saying, here's my business card. I don't think anybody brought business cards. So this was a wonderful chance for everybody to just get together and talk, have a good time, have something in common, get to know each other. And the reason I'm willing to share some of this with you today is that it can be really energizing to be surrounded by so many other creative people, so many different areas of talent and look around and say, wow, collectively, we know so much, we can accomplish so much, and individually, we are so amazing. And at the same time, we've all been through this journey that many people starting out in voiceover go through who are worried about... Uh, I might not be good enough, or I don't know, I've, imposter syndrome can be difficult. Um, believing in yourself, going through the struggle and being okay with the fact that, yes, my voice is this, it is not James Earl Jones, and this is what makes me special and unique, is because I am this voice and no one else is like me. When you see that there are so many other people who have gone through that same journey as well, you feel a lot more invigorated because you can see that they too are also successful. They got where they needed to go or they're still on their journey, but it's carrying forward and they're not letting that hold them back. A couple of thoughts come up about this trend that I think are particularly good models and takeaways based on what you're saying. Um, the first is that I think it was Nelson Mandela who talked about why uh, solitary confinement during imprisonment is such is like the worst kind of uh, punishment. My my thought about that up until then, being very naive and not having been to prison, uh, was, hey, solitary confinement, safe, nobody's bothering me, and uh, what's the... take me to the hole. But what he said is that in solitary confinement, the mind turns on itself. Hmm. So when one doesn't have the stimulus of other minds and other uh, input, the mind starts to become a tyrannical force of, uh, I mean, maybe the job of the mind is to decipher and critique things for the sake of survival, to decipher, analyze, and critique things. So when the mind turns completely on me, that's when sometimes small things become huge things and huge things get overlooked because I'm so obsessed with something else. So the idea of just branching out and being with other minds and feeling like, A, I'm not alone, and B, hey, there's an idea I didn't consider. Another uh, parallel, and maybe, I don't know if uh, this resonates with you, Trenton, but one of my favorite spiritual educational moments in movies actually comes from Jim Henson's Labyrinth, 
Okay. In that movie, the first step Sarah takes into the labyrinth, it's nothing but a but an endless corridor. And probably it's it's you know the whole element of the labyrinth is that's magical and surreal. But you know, arguably probably that corridor would just go all the way around the labyrinth and back. Until she bumps into a caterpillar who happens to be Australian. Um, and so the caterpillar says, no, 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 you've got all these other options. It's just, just look there. She's like, no, there's just a wall there. And he says that you're taking for granted that that's just a wall. Step through there and you'll see all the other choices. And so she takes a step through. It turns out the wall is an optical illusion. You know, it's it's a bunch of bricks uh, painted as if they're continuous on the on the background. Uh, she steps through and she's like, oh, my goodness, thank you. And off she goes. And you know, certainly the journey is not over, but the journey has now taken a significant step into progress. So that's what I think about when uh, when interfacing with other people. Even talking with you right now, Trent, is is opening my mind. Yeah, just hang out and talking with people without an agenda, feeling less alone, feeling like I don't have all the answers, and I also am not completely, um, uh, I'm not completely starting from scratch. I'm not an imposter. It's a great metaphor, actually. That's a fantastic example because. Sometimes we do need someone else to help us see that some of the barriers to our success were put there by ourselves. And it's really up to us to be able to remove them. But we can't always do that without someone helping show us the way. Yeah. So, uh, folks, the, the takeaway, take the step. Reach out. We're here for your comments as well. Thank you for joining us. And as your narrators and teacher of narration, we hope that our voices and your ears meet again real soon. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.